torsion of non-circular sections plus an example will be presented to you in the following video okay first of all non-circular sections still obey the basic equation of torsion which is gj the theta dz okay but the problem is is determining uh, an exact value of the torsion constant like uh, previously for the circular uh, cross section we knew that the um, torsion constant was pi times diameter to the power of 4 divided by 32 however for non-circular cross sections it's a bit challenging to determine this so we um, so we, there's a, an equation that shows you an approximate value for this torsion constant of a non-circular section and this equals to the sum of all elements sigma b T cubed divided by 3 where B is the length T is the thickness B is the breadth excuse me T is the thickness and we divide this by 3 and Sigma is the sum of all elements within um, an, uh, a structural uh, element like for example an I section would have two flanges and one web so we do the sum of both flanges and the web okay Bear in mind this approximation is better for slender sections, so thinner sections, but it's not really applicable for stocky rectangular elements like a square. And in addition, the equations for determining shear stress and shear strain determine